Guys, today I'm going to talk about what you need to pay attention to right now when it comes to Bitcoin on the shorter and longer time frames. Also, we do have some updates on the board meeting that took place yesterday uh, with the Federal Reserve, so I'm going to talk a bit about that as well. We do have a very important historical indicator showing us something very important for Bitcoin. We're talking about traditional markets and yeah, much, much more. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And guys, I want to kick it off here on my support and resistance level. So what you can see is that we had a pump here yesterday, a pump from the orange line and the top of the orange box here, sorry, the red line at the top of the orange box. Again, this orange box has been holding up the Bitcoin price here. Amidst all of the turmoil, amidst everything that's happening, the orange box is still so strong here. And yes, we did see a nice little pump here up to the next level of resistance, of course, which is this orange line at 43,700 or 43,800 actually. So, you know, respect these levels. These levels are going to continue to be extremely important as we move further here. You can see that uh, the Bitcoin price is definitely respecting these levels very, very much. Now, the important level is the $45,000 level. Now, we'll show you why. So, right here on Bitcoin, we're on the weekly time frame. And what you can see here on the weekly time frame is a couple of things. The first thing is that we are above the very important downward sloping previous resistance line here, and we're finding support on the weekly time frame. So this is extremely important because look at what happened uh, once we started to go down here. We found massive support. After that, we did break down. We retested the uh, previous uh, support now turned into resistance on the way up. So this was uh, you know, confirmed as a uh, breakdown from, from this line here. And then we went down. Okay, So this confirmation and then we went down. And now we've had a kind of similar thing. We've had uh, resistance here. Finally broke above it, finding that support. And now if we're able to confirm this support, just like we confirmed this resistance, you know, things are potentially looking bullish here for Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. One important thing, though, is, again, the $45,000 level. If I flip on the uh, 20 EMA, you can see that this has been pushing down the Bitcoin price. We weren't able to get above it here. One, two, three, four times. Actually, for one full month, we were trying to break above this very important uh, 20 EMA here, the blue line. We tried to break through it last week as well. You can see the wick here trying to break through it, but we weren't able to do that. So this is going to be one big level of resistance. This is at 45,860 to be exact right now. And as you know, we also have the $45,000 level here, the orange line. So, you know, uh, at this vicinity where these wicks uh, were starting to roll over and the Bitcoin price went down from hitting the 21 EMA here on these wicks actually. So it all makes sense. The structure of the markets are still, you know, making sense here. So we will continue to monitor this, but things are not looking too bad for Bitcoin right now. And I will show you this very important chart in a bit. But before we talk about this for Bitcoin, let's talk quickly about Ethereum. So Ethereum has been having an interesting couple of, of weeks here because on the four hourly time frame, you can see that we've been consolidating within this range here, which is between 2850 and uh, 3000 essentially. And you can see that this level has been holding support. This has been holding very, very strong here, supporting the Ethereum price. We're right now breaking and we are approaching the orange box here. So Again, this is big resistance for Ethereum. But not only that, but also on the daily time frame, we have this downwards sloping trend line. So if we're able to break through this trend line, and this is right now sitting at 3,100, if we're able to break through this, that is good news for Ethereum. And guys, before we continue, if you want to claim a $4,530 bonus, then make sure to use my link right here uh, for experienced traders. But you're able to claim this bonus and trade with the actual bonus. So let's continue and let's talk quickly about the traditional markets. Traditional markets are right now below my orange line at 4,416. So we want this to break. You can see that we have had a couple of times trying to break this already. Many times here, five times, and these are also in the vicinity of trying to break this. Haven't been able to do that. So 
I mean, this is something we will, of course, need to do if we are going to remain, uh, you know, in an upwards trend here, because this one at 4,420, 4,475, and then we got the big test here, the orange box at 4,500. Now, I want to show you this. This was posted by Caleb Franson originally. And what is this indicator? Well, it's basically a couple of, um, let us actually see here the definition for it. So if I take away, am I able to do that? Yeah. So the red and white indicators use linear regression analysis to measure the slope of the regressions on different time frames, slow versus fast. Okay, so that is the technical, you know, explanation of what's going on here. But the practical explanation is that whenever we have a crossover here, it usually is an indication of a top or a bottom, a short-term top or a short-term bottom. You can see that we had a crossover here. We went up from that point until we had a bearish crossover here when we started to roll over and go down. Bullish crossover here went up bearish cross over here went down and now we are approaching a bullish crossover so how accurate is this well there has actually been one time here as well where we have had an unclear crossover which is i don't know how you define an unclear crossover because essentially this would also be a you know unclear crossover unless in hindsight of course we know that the bitcoin price started to roll uh, down here but anyway, we have this unclear cross over here. Let's call it that it's been right in one, two, three, four, five times out of six, which is a pretty good uh, batting average, so to speak. So yeah, this is definitely something interesting to keep watching, but we are having that bullish cross over here. So we'll see if we're going to see the same kind of growth and uh, parabolic price action as we've been seeing in previous bullish crossovers. So we will see about that, guys. Finally, of course, what's on everyone's mind now, the board meeting that took place yesterday. So um, we don't really know what was discussed yesterday by the Fed because it was a closed board meeting. But, you know, most people are expecting 0.25% uh, increase in the interest rate or 0.5 even if, uh, you know, it's being radical here. So I mean, we already know that. So I think that much of that is already priced in. But just like I've been showing you in previous videos, this is actually a previous video, so make sure to check this out if you haven't uh, watched it. But every time the um, Fed uh, raises rates, in history, throughout history, if you just have a longer time frame, it always led into uh, prices going up, asset prices, stock, and so on going up apart from one time here in 1972 to 1974 now one thing though is that this is tightening without turmoil so raising rates without turmoil now we do have the uh, uh stuff going on in in ukraine and russia so we will see about that and if that is going to have any implication in this as well but i mean in general the stock market continues to go up in fact i did also see um, another chart showing us that in war, in general, stock markets also does very well. I think I also have talked about it, actually, when I think about it on my channel. So, I mean, I don't think that you should buy into the massive amount of fear that is being spread right now uh, in mainstream media. Um, as always, use good risk management. As always, uh, if you get a good buying opportunity... Oh, I got logged out. Anyway, if, I, if you get a good buying opportunity, if prices just goes down too low and... Yeah, that is probably where you're going to make the most amount of money anyway. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.